another look at women in the DR. And, you know, today's topic is one of those topics, again, that doesn't seem to be so uh, such a happy topic, but it is a reality in my opinion, and I just wanted to share it with you today. We talked about women before in the DR and some other videos where I talked about the violence that women um, are faced with almost daily in the Dominican Republic. Not all women, but many women are, are faced with daily in the Dominican Republic. But today I want to bring to you the attention of one other slightly disparaging fact. And it is clear and apparent that in the DR that there isn't much interest in mixing or adding women to positions and high positions of political power uh, in the Dominican Republic. Now, tomorrow, October the 6th, is an election in the Dominican Republic. It is a primary election. Uh, I talked about this in a previous video where um, they are going to be selecting the party candidates uh, for the next election to be held May 17, 2020 uh, in the Dominican Republic. I might add that on none of the major parties are any of the leading candidates women. There is one woman who is running on the PLD side, uh, but she probably has very little to any chance of, of gaining or garnering any, any major votes. And so we're going to talk about this. The current vice president is a woman, obviously, and she is the wife of the former president who is now a current candidate and leading candidate in the PLD for the nomination of the party candidate for the election of 2020. She is a woman, as I've mentioned, and, um, but the fact is, is that in the current government, less than 20% of the cabinet ministers are women. The president basically appoints who he wants for his cabinet. And when he ran, he did run on change and modernization. But as far as it comes to uh, putting women in positions, uh, but overall, the history has said, the records have shown that he has not done that. The Constitution in the Dominican Republic, as I understand it and have seen it, promotes gender quality, equality. But yet, in the high court, in the high court, or what we would call like the Supreme Court, there are 13 judges, but only three are women. Half of the Dominican population is female. But yet, when you look at some of the higher positions in the government, it is not reflective of what the population breakdown is. If you look at the House or the senators, only 9% are senators. The House of Deputies, there's only 3% that are women. There are only 12% of all the mayors in, in, in the Dominican Republic. Only 12% are women. Only 8% are vice mayors. And these are um, statistics that I got from the, uh, the newspaper periodical called Listen Diario. You can check it out yourself. Women, unfortunately, have never, ever received their party's nomination uh, to be president. And quite frankly, the United States has only had it quite recently with Hillary Clinton. Uh, so, you know, I guess we can't really complain too much, or we, or we can't really cast judgment too much um, on the Dominican Republic because the United States has only done it quite recently. But the thing is, is that President Medina and Leonel Fernandez, whose wife is the current vice president, over the last, oh, 16 years or so that the, between the two of them that, that they've been um, in leadership and running the government have yet to really put women in a position of power or give women positions of power. And it's, it's, it's sad when you think about it, and I'm not trying to harp on it too much, but what I am trying to say is, is that I think women have a very difficult life in the Dominican Republic. Many of them are single mothers trying to provide for their families, trying to provide obviously for themselves, but they're not given much opportunity. It's very difficult to find jobs as it is in the Dominican Republic. And if you're a mother with children, if you're a middle-aged woman, oh boy, it's very, very, very difficult. And so what I'm trying to say is that the government needs to give more attention to women and women's issues. I'm not trying to say that they need to bow down and, and, and 
worship the ground that all women uh, walk on, but I'm saying you need to give them equal opportunity to provide for themselves and for their family. This culture of men, 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 men only, I think is destructive. I think women can add a lot to the political landscape and to the governmental landscape and to society in general in terms of running society and, and bettering society. Give them the opportunity to do that. Women earn less money. They have less opportunities for promotion than men. And I'm only speaking from what I've seen and from what I've read and what I've witnessed in the Dominican Republic. And so it's my hope that as the elections take place here, tomorrow, uh, Sunday, October the 7th, as well as in May, 2017, uh, May 17 and 2020, that more women will uh, get positions. There are many women running for positions in, for the senators in the House of, of Deputies. So hopefully they will win and we'll see some change. From me to you, Dominican, rendezvous.